Learning through play. Mehar is a 8-year-old girl. She is an introvert child. She goes to school and has only one friend, Shrishti. But her friend, his father, has got transferred to Mumbai. Let's hear what is happening at Mehar's house. Mehar, stop playing on the mobile phone. Come, let's play a game. Play a game? With you? But it's dark. We cannot go to the park and play. This game is very simple, Meher. You have to act like any animal. That is fun, Mama. Okay. Can you tell me what sound does a cat make? Meow, meow. Very good, Meher. Wow, you were just like a cat. Okay. What sound does a dog make? Bow, bow. Mama, can you make sound of a monkey? Oh, so you want me to be like a monkey. <coughs> you know, when I was a kid, I used to put your nanny scarf and dance like a monkey. What fun it was. La, 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 la. Mama, me and Trishti also used to play this game. But now I miss her as her papa has got transferred to Mumbai. She was my best friend. Now no one plays with me in school. Oh, oh, Mehar, I can understand. Don't worry, bache. Tomorrow, your papa will call Shrishti's papa and then you can have a video time with your friend. You know... You can play many games online like name, place, animal thing. You can sing a song. That's so nice of you and Papa to think about me. You saw how Meher was able to share her loneliness with her mama. While playing, she could associate with so many things. She could associate a lot more during play. Play is the basis of almost all learning in early childhood. Decades of research by psychologists like Jean Piaget, Parton, Liv Vygotsky show us that play is an essential part of child's development. We must provide children with time for any form of play. It can be structured play or unstructured play. Play enhances development like in the gross and fine motor area, social and emotional, and also in the language. An environment which is enriched with play, toys provide the perfect life experience as building blocks. But lack of play will cause neuron connections related to play to be lost. Research has been done and neuroscientists have discovered that enriched Play with toys, games and playing can alter brain's chemistry and child's development. The brain area associated with higher cognitive processing can benefit from environmental enrichment and children's play more than other parts of the brain. Students, in this context just now you saw the conversation how Meher, who was an introvert child, she came up that she was missing her friend. And what all she was missing? She was playing with her friend. And she used to miss that when her friend went away. So if we see, play is very important. But in today's society and lifestyles, there is not enough time for children to play. Play is very important to promote healthy and different aspects of child development. Even you will wonder that United States has recognized that play is the basic human right of every child. Play helps children develop in their brain's cognitive, social, physical and emotional areas. Play allows children to use their creativity and imagination to strengthen their physical bodies and brain. If you have seen while children they are playing at a sandpit, you can see them making little balls of sand. Some of them, they make mountains. They hide their hand under that. They hide toys. So all these things 
you can see when the child is in a play school or he's playing at a sand pit during play children get to take on roles of adults like playing family or playing a restaurant or doctor doctor or teacher teacher uh, i think so you all must have done that playing teacher teacher writing on the blackboard playing doctor doctor or sometimes even playing police and the thieves they also get to conquer their fears and deal with any difficulties they are facing in their life so if we see the benefits of play it also helps to build problem solving skills and develop resilience that will help them well into their adult life especially in outdoor games like when you play a game like stapu or that is hopscotch you have to jump from one box to the other on one leg so that teaches you balance and how you have to pick up the stone without touching the lines is very important as teachers you have to provide opportunity to children to play individually in small groups or in pairs jean piaget has given four stages of cognitive development the first stage the sensory motor stage gives you a clue about how children learn in first two years of life right from birth babies use their senses to learn about their world exploratory play through the five senses is the primary type of play you will see from 0 to 2 years children at this stage are focused on two things their own bodies and external objects so if you see our senses hearing seeing touching smelling children at this stage usually put things in their mouth to taste them to explore now coming to the second stage of cognitive development is the pre operational stage children in this stage are learning to associate objects with words and the way they use and represent objects has no real adult logic behind it piaget noticed children at this stage use imaginative play to represent objects and they build their conceptual knowledge through pretending and dramatic play they they are pretending things if you see they do pretend play they do dramatic play at this stage they love playing doctor doctor patient or even pretend play at around 4 years of age they are more interested in social interactions and start to enjoy structured games with rules like playing uh, hide and seek or catching catch or uh little games like throw ball catch ball all these games the next stage is the concrete operational stage piaget noticed logical thinking emerges hands on games with rules become extremely effective learning tool to use with children in this stage of development rules provide them structure and repetition sought after by their development of logical thinking the children in concrete operational stage are more focused on social aspects of play they play in order to seek connection and acceptance by the group and the last stage by jean piaget is formal operational stage which develop the ability to reason and think hypothetically abstract concepts such as the future justice values are engaging and easily understood by children in the formal operational stage if we see the cognitive development occurs in a particular order children across the world will not skip any stage but progressively move through each one piaget also believed that stages of play to be progressive with visible changes in children's play as they pass through each stage so as teachers as going to be teachers in service or pre service teachers it is very important that in our classrooms we give opportunity to children to play whether it is all by themselves 
it is individual play with toys with peers indoors or outdoors because play is very important children learn a lot through play thank you